everyone. Welcome to Camford's Speaking Tutorial Test 5. Let's begin with Speaking Test 5, Part 1, Question Number 1. How well do you know the people who live next door to you? I know them like the back of my palm because we share a great rapport among us. For me, hardly does a week pass without my meeting and talking to my next door neighbors. Our neighborhood is so close a community that we share deep boundaries in between. How often do you see them? I see them at least once in a week. Even though I don't get to see them every day. We chat on WhatsApp group before we go to bed. As my neighbors are engaged in different positions, they leave for their work at various times. So it's hard to see everybody every day. But most of us are home on weekends. What kind of problems do people sometimes have with their neighbors? As people differ from one another, so do their problems. The most common problem we see is on the boundary dispute between two houses. Unlike in European countries, in my state, the houses are separated by fences. If the fences are not made of bricks and stones, and if it is made of hedges, the conflict could be more lasting than you can imagine. Few more problems to add to the list are peeping, slandering, eavesdropping, and non-payment of debts. Now let's move on to part 2. It is called cue card session. You will have 1 minute to prepare and 2 minutes for speaking. Describe a time you were asked to give your opinion in a questionnaire or a survey. You should say what the questionnaire or the survey was about, why you were asked to, to give your opinion, what opinions you gave and explain how you felt about giving your opinions in this questionnaire or survey. Giving opinion in a survey has always been a fabulous experience for ordinary persons like me. Around 10 years back, my country was holding elections to the parliament. When I was coming out of the polling booths after casting my vote, I was asked to give my opinion on who would win that election. The question was thrown to me by a leading television channel, which is still popular for conducting pre-poll and exit poll surveys. I was asked to give my opinion, not only as a person who casted his vote in that election, but also a bold one who could give his opinion without inhibition. Even though India has a multi-party system with each party with substantial share of votes, there were three major political parties with centrist, leftist and rightist ideologies on the election fray. My choice was a centrist party as it was the most popular on that time. It was for the first time in my life I was being videographed and asked for my opinion. Despite being timid at the start, I managed to gain confidence and expressed my thought affirmatively. To call spade a spade, I was reluctant to air my opinion in the public as I was crowded by the TV crews as well as onlookers. You know, during elections, the franchisee is exercised secretively. For this reason, I was quite uncomfortable. However, this experience made me grow in confidence and in the subsequent elections always, I would wait to be asked for my opinion. Let's move on to part 3, question number 1. What kind of organizations want to find out about people's opinions? A host of organizations collect people's opinions. Market research firms are the leading collectors of opinions because their very nature of operation involves gathering feedback about a product and subsequently reproduce it with modifications addressing the concerns of consumers. 
as gathering opinion is the best way to attract as well as to impress future consumers. Every manufacturer does it to improve their market. Besides non-governmental agencies, state organs also get into the perception of its people on the projects either implemented or to be implemented. To be precise, reintroduction of a product or a project is highly unlikely to be effective without taking people's opinion into account. What reasons might people have for not wanting to give their opinion? Giving opinion is always a personal discretion where the respondent is in total control of whether he or she should put forth his or her perception or not. I've come across many people who like to maintain secrecy and hence abstain from expressing their thoughts. Furthermore, it's not uncommon that certain individuals hold themselves back from expressing their views, lest it should hurt the sentiments of others. Not every person we stumble across can air their views publicly because they care about their privacy a great deal. Last but not the least, the introverts who are timid and modest are not few in our society. They find it too hard to convey openly what they think. Do you think it would be a good idea for schools to ask students their opinions about lessons? Asking for feedback is a right step ahead. Its importance is more when students are asked to evaluate about the lessons they are taught. If it's not done, the schools will be in the dark about the efficacy of what's taught in the classes. Uh, when schools get right and unbiased feedback, they can be proactive in giving remedial measures to its faculty, who could subsequently restructure the teaching methodology as to make lessons result oriented. It's worth remembering that today's pedagogy is student-centric, so it would certainly be a good idea for schools to ask students their opinions about lessons. Now, let's have a look at difficult vocabulary and its meaning. Rapport meaning a close and a harmonious relationship between people. Vulnerables, meaning people who are weak and easily exploited. Underprivileged, meaning poor. Hedge, meaning a boundary formed by closely growing bushes. Call a spade a spade, meaning say something the way it is. Inhibition, meaning reluctance. Timid, meaning shy. Affirmatively, meaning positively. Franchise, meaning the right to vote in an election. Discretion, meaning the freedom to decide what is to be done in a situation. Stumble, meaning find by chance. Pedagogy, meaning the method and the practice of teaching. Respondent, meaning testy or interviewee, perception, meaning thought, abstain, meaning keep away from, introvert, meaning reserved person, modest, meaning unpretentious, remedial measures, meaning solutions. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching. Camford speaking tutorial.